Hello, everyone. This is Mr. King. I hope that you all are doing well and that you and your families are finding time during this very unique experience to do some things that you don't usually get to do. I'm looking forward to learning with you all again. To that end, I've created some optional, ungraded experiences for all of you. And let me stress that again. These are not graded, and I will not be checking for completion. I am creating them because I think this is an excellent time for us all to come together and to learn in a different way than that we are used to learning. I'll be posting these every Monday while we are home, and I imagine that we may be home yet for some time. For some weeks, I may even create collaborative learning experiences, video conferences, and more. Um, but for now, let me show you where you can find these experiences and what I'm hoping that you'll do with me for this week. So this is your Schoology page for digital photography. And once I publish this, you'll see at the top here a folder for optional COVID-19 at home coursework. If we go to that folder here, you'll see folders within that for each week that I post coursework for you to do. Again, this is optional coursework. And if I click on this folder here, you'll see a page for your learning opportunities and then a discussion board. And I'm going to be doing this same thing every week. Uh, and some weeks I'll have additional information, but at the very least, you'll see both of these things every week. Um, in the discussion board, I want you to please feel free to post any questions and any discussions that you want to talk about. Um, ideally, this will be a place where you'll post uh, whatever you do for the learning opportunities so that everyone can see what everyone else is doing and we can discuss those things. But I also want you to feel free to uh, post any other questions in here, any questions that you might have for me or for your classmates. Uh, this, I want this to be a place where we can discuss uh, whatever questions that you might have. So please feel free to come in here and post whatever you need to in this discussion board. Now, if you click on the learning opportunities page here, we're going to see uh, an embedded Google Doc. In this in Google Doc, you're going to see uh, your subject, digital photography, what week that we're working on, um, what question we're asking ourselves for this week, and a couple of options that you have. So for this week, our question we're asking ourselves is, how does the world I'm surrounded by every day present interesting opportunities for capturing moments? And then I'm going to give you two learning opportunities. Um, now, once I'm done with creating these videos, of course, I'm actually going to post links right in here to the video that I'm working on at the moment. Uh, this week, I've created two different learning opportunities for you, and you have the option to choose one of those. Um, you may do both if you want to. You may do one. Uh, you might choose to do neither, uh, but I'd really be excited if you go on this experience with us and pick uh, at least one of these two options. Uh, so for the first one, I say that we've learned about macro photography already, which was photographing physically small things. Um, but now I want you to think about photographing small moments. Think about five moments that happen during your week that to other people might be small and not important, but to you, they made a difference in your life. Five small moments that had a positive impact on you and take a picture of them. Now, how do you photograph a moment. I want you to get a picture that represents that moment to you. Let me give you an example in my life of something that really had a positive impact on me that might have been small for someone else, but made a big impact on me. The other day I was outside um, taking a look around uh, my house and I looked in my garden and uh, we had ripped everything out of the garden in the fall, set the garden up, um, moved around all the dirt and prepared it for the winter. Um, and I wasn't expecting there to be anything in the garden. But as I looked in the garden, I noticed some small green shoots just starting to peek through the dirt. And, and that was a moment for me. It said to me, spring is here. There's new life. There's some growth. Um, there are new things, new living things coming uh, in a place where I didn't expect them to be. And for me, that was a small moment, just one small thing that to anybody else might not have meant anything. But to me, that was exciting. And so that might have been a picture that I would take from my small moment. So I want you to think of, of things like that. Take five small moments. And then I want you to go to pixlr.com and create an artfully composed collage of your moments and share it on our discussion board for this week. 
and tell us something of your moments. The second option you have, if you're not interested in the moments, I'm going to show you at pixel.com in a moment here, is you're likely surrounded by the familiar these days. You're at home, you're at a family's house, or you're, you're the, the house of someone you're familiar with. Um, it's a place that you know well. And I want you to seek out the unfamiliar within this place that you know well. Take five photos of discoveries in and around this place. Five pictures of things that you didn't know existed in this place that you thought you knew well. Um, and just defining a discovery as an object, a location, or something else that you didn't think was there, that you found, something that you found that was exciting, something that you weren't expecting, something unexpected. Five pictures of the unexpected this week. Um, and again, make a collage on pixelator.com. So it's pixelator.com. It's a place I'm going to send you probably a number of times over here at home. It's going to be our, our Photoshop stand-in. Um, it's an online website that you can use in your Chromebooks. And uh, that should work well uh, and give you an opportunity to do some of what we would do in Photoshop here on the internet. So let's go ahead and head over there. I'm going to show you what that looks like real briefly here. If you go to pixelator.com, you'll see it's a photo editor. And they have a playful or advanced mode. You can try either one, but um, the advanced mode is going to be more similar to the options that you're used to seeing within Photoshop. So let's go ahead and click on that. And then you need to pick a picture. You can, If you have one that you've loaded up before, they should show up here, just like they would in Photoshop. But otherwise, you can go over here to Open Image and find that picture and open it. And here's the picture loaded up. And you'll notice you've got tools on the side that you're used to. There's layers over here, just like you're used to seeing. Um, and so I can actually add a new layer. I can make it empty, or I can actually put an image on it. Let's make an empty layer. And on that layer there, I'm going to... Actually, let's go ahead and remove that layer. And let's add an image layer. Why not? Let's go ahead and add another image um, of this little monster here. So there's a little monster, and I can move it around. And I have a adjust, free adjustment ability to it here. Let's move it around. And then I can make it a little smaller. And I can rotate it. And there, there's a the start of my collage. And let's go ahead and put another new layer with image. And that's this phoenix in here. And let's make that smaller yet and bring that over here. Rotate it this way. And there, you see I've got the beginnings of a collage. And so you can use pixlr.com to do much, much of what you would have done in Photoshop. And I can go to File, and I can go to Save. Uh, and I can save my work just like I would have in Photoshop. So I'm going to encourage you to use pixlr.com. And you're going to come back here. And you're going to scroll up and go to our week of March 30th, come into our discussion board. And when you click on write a comment, you'll notice down here you've got boxes for posting a file, link, resource, or audio video recording. And I'll have you use different options from here in different weeks. But for this week here, please just go ahead and click on file and then put that picture in just like you would any other picture. All right, guys, if you have any questions this week, please feel free to post them here in this discussion board or to send me an email. My email is right here in the discussion board as well. So please feel free to click that email or to post any questions right here in the discussion board. If you need anything, you guys know where to find me.